hello beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm barbara Fili, as some of you already know and i'm a final year medical student living in nigeria and i make videos on medical school natural hair lifestyle so today i'm going to be making a video that i promised in my previous video that i was going to do and it's on breakdown of medical school program so medical school program in nigeria runs for six years which is from 100 level to 600 level unlike in some countries like america where you only have medicine as a postgraduate course so you have to do a pre-med course for four years usually in um like courses like biochemistry chemistry and even neuroscience so you do it for four years before you're able to apply for medicine which you also study for four years so a total of eight years but in nigeria you can study medicine straight out of secondary school and it usually takes six years but sometimes you see medical students in medical school for seven years eight years and even nine years it's not a surprise because in nigeria you have things like acid strike which can disrupt um school programs and then some factors also like having to resit or repeat a class can make you stay longer than that six years in nigeria before i continue i'd like to point out that not all medical schools in nigeria are the same so most of the things i'm going to be saying in this video is mostly what applies in my school but um i think the most of the things are the same just minor minor differences here and there so breaking down medical school program broadly you have your pre-med or pre-college years and then your college years which is from second year to final year then college years is further divided into pre-clinical years and clinical years pre-med years is basically your first year and at this stage you're not in the college at all and the courses you're going to be doing is not in any way related to medical school you'll be doing courses on that basic medical sciences like i like to call them a1 courses because it's a continuation of what you did in secondary school including your math your english biology physics um general studies including use of uh, use of library yeah so um you'll be doing these courses across two semesters and at the end of each semester you write a continuous assessment test before the exam in my school we call it, um first year exam first professional exam and for you to be able to pass on to preclinical class you have to make all your papers so um the the pass mark usually varies in different universities like in some schools you can have a pass mark of 50 which is 50 percent but in my school and some other schools pass mark is usually um a d that's 40 percent so you have to pass all your score all your courses before you move on to the preclinical class even if you have one course you can't move on to the preclinical -clin pre class you'll be held back in first year until you pass that course it's different from other departments in the university where you can carry over a course to another level but as far as you're able to pass that course before you graduate it's different in med school school first year because you'll be moving to another faculty in second year so you can't exactly carry over that course to another level preclinical class usually involves your second year and your third year at this stage you're in the college proper now and then in college years you no longer have things like semester or semester breaks so you only have breaks at the end of the session which is usually after you've written any professional exam these sessions vary because um in preclinical class which is uh, second year and third year is supposed to be two years second year and third year is supposed to be two years but it doesn't exactly span for that two years it lasts for 18 months but it's called second year and third year preclinical class so um here you're under uh, the faculty of basic medical sciences and you'll be offering courses like anatomy physiology and medical biochemistry then in my school we also offer um a general general study course um peace and conflict it may be different in some other schools but in my schools we offer peace and conflict together with these um, basic medical science courses but we don't write them in second mbbs also known as second professional exam we write them separate the courses you only write in second mbbs is your anatomy physiology biochemistry or medical biochemistry anatomy is further divided into your gross anatomy embryology and histology and for each of these courses you'll be having practicals with them for anatomy you'll be going to your anatomy lab where you'll be dissecting cadavers and then for medical biochemistry you'll be going to a biochemistry lab where you'll be working with chemicals then these courses are done in three parts and for each part you'll be uh, taking a test at the end of each part and the test make up uh, forty percent of your whole hundred percent. That's your continuous assessment. So at the end of third year now, 
you're going to write your second MBBS, which is also called second professional exam. And it has different parts. You have your MCQ, you have you write mock before the exam. So you have your MCQ, you have your theory, you have practical storage, you have viva. So um then after this uh, second MBBS, what's the fate of medical students? So um in medical school, you know from college years, you no longer grade your scores as A, B, C, D and F. I think there is an E before F. You only grade them as either pass or fail. So pass mark in different schools is usually the same in Nigeria. It's usually uh fifty percent pass mark. So it's either you fail or you pass. So um the fate of students after the exam for those that got less than forty percent in the three courses which is your anatomy physiology and medical biochemistry they are required to drop out of the college then for students that passed only two out of the three they are usually required to uh, receive the exam after 12 months so they will have to join the class below and then for those that passed one of the courses out of the three they usually receipt they are required to receipt after three months and then after that three months if some people still do not pass they'll have to join the class after that class so yeah after the exams then students are required or allowed a maximum of three attempts after second mbbs to pass all their exams if not they are required to withdraw from the college then after you've passed all your exams in second mbbs you now move over to clinical class which involves fourth year 50 and final year and it's called um clinical class because by that time you start going to the hospital you start going to the clinic and interacting with patients so you basically write three major professional exams here which is your um third mbbs fourth mbbs and fifth mbbs so fourth year fourth year usually varies in most in different universities in nigeria because some schools take um fifth year and sixth year courses in fourth year so it's usually um stretched out while some others will just take those courses they're supposed to have in third year. So um, for my school now, we spent uh, nine months in fourth year and some other schools also spend nine months in fourth year. So in fourth year, you'll be um, offering two major courses for your third MBBS and they include your pathology, which is the study of diseases and your pharmacology, which involve all the treatments or drug treatment for those diseases. Pharmacology is a course on its own, while pathology is further divided into four different courses. Um, you have your morbid anatomy, also known as histopathology, chemical pathology, medical microbiology, and then hematology, also known as immunology. So you take these courses, including pharmacology for three months. Um, they are called junior block or first block postings in my school. Then at the end of that three months, you're supposed to write a test. Then after the test, you're introduced to final year courses as um, fifth MBBS courses, which uh, is medicine and surgery. So you're introduced to it, you have lectures for two weeks, after which you start having um, postings in the hospital for another three months. So um, this is usually your first exposure to um, clinical rotation. So you basically learn just introduction to medicine and surgery, and then you learn how to collect patients. I guess they brought this part of posting to 40 years so you're exposed to clinical settings so you don't things don't look weird to you when you're now needed to interact with patients from 50 and 50 and final year year so after the three months of medicine and surgery posting you come back to pathology and pharmacology again for three months it's now called at this point it's called senior block postings yeah after the three months you take your end of posting test followed by more and then your third MBBS. The medicine and surgery courses that you offered, you're not going to write in the exam as part of third MBBS because they are all part of final year courses. So you write them with fifth MBBS instead. Then the pass mark um, for third MBBS is still the same as I explained in second MBBS. Same thing with the receipt and the repeat. Okay. So fifth year is usually the longest in my school. Like I said before, fourth year and fifth year varies across different universities, different medical schools in Nigeria. So um, for those universities where they offer fifth year and final year courses in fourth year, their fifth year is going to be shorter. But in my school, you it usually spans for like 18 months or even more. So in fifth year, we offer um, pediatrics, which is um, medicine for children, ONG, obstetrics and gynecology. Obstetrics is um, management of pregnant women, while uh, gynecology is 
management of the reproductive health of our females of males and females as we are all involved in reproduction um then in addition you continue doing those courses medicine and surgery courses that you started in fourth year but there are fifth final year um courses you write them in fifth mbbs then you also add community medicine um, courses known for short as comed so you're going to be doing a total of four courses in fifth year you're going to be doing your pediatrics ong comed and medicine and surgery okay five courses in fifth year so this is how it goes when you enter fifth year you're going to start with continue with your medicine and surgery which you started in fourth year you're going to do two weeks of lectures and then go to the hospital for postings so you're going to do that for um three months and at the end of each posting you write test at the end of each posting it's called end of posting test um these tests uh, make up your continuous assessment for your final exams as your fifth mbbs it's written in fifth year but it doesn't affect your um fifth year exam which is your fourth year fourth now fourth mbbs but it affects your fifth mbbs so after the um test you come back and start your pediatrics ong and community medicine posting you do lectures usually for two or three weeks and then you start postings usually at this point the school divides um the faculty divides the class into three three different um groups one group will be doing um ong postings one group will be doing pediatrics posting while one the last group will be doing community medicine posting so um for pediatrics and ONG, you do your posting in the hospital. While um, community medicine, it usually takes you out of the hospital, out of your school environment. So you get to visit um, different primary health centers and public places like um, the prisons because there are some uh, ailments that are peculiar to inmates. And then you get to water treatment sites, um, TB centers, rehabilitation centers. So you go out a lot in for community medicine posting because you have to see how things function or how things work at community level um setting after these postings you do them for about um 18 weeks it's usually a long posting you now come back and then start diff a different set of um you start a different set of postings called short postings these short postings are a subset of medicine and surgery so you usually go through units like ophthalmology ent dermatology Accidents and emergency, there are a lot of them, including anesthesiology. So, at the end of the postings, you usually write um, end of posting tests. The postings usually last for like two weeks. So, at the end of the posting, you write end of posting tests. And since they are part of medicine and surgery, the test reflects in your continuous assessment for fifth MBBS, not in your fourth MBBS. So, you spend like if you spend a really long time in short postings during short postings because it spans for about about six months or more depending on your school depending on the medical school you're attending students usually have a lot of time during this period and they divide the class they usually divide the class in groups you barely you rarely see your classmates at this point because personally i barely see them or less is during those two weeks of lectures or during exams so it's completely normal if you don't even see like some of your classmates for like six months or even more so after the short of short posting test you're going to come back to pediatrics and um ong so you continue your pediatrics and ong it's now called um senior posting the ones you did before the short posting is called um junior posting so you continue pediatrics and ong postings for um for three months before you now write your end of posting test followed by mock and then your fourth mbbs in fifth year you're going to have a lot of clinical exposure because most of your time will be spent in the hospital you'll be placed under different units under different consultants you'll be following them learning most of the things you need as a medical doctor from them so um you'll be learning to hands on i mean that's why it's called apprenticeship and after your fourth mbbs you now move into final year provided of course provided you pass your fourth mbbs you now pass into fifth mbbs class which is your final year you're going to be doing three major courses in 600 level including your medicine surgery community medicine and so like i said before you do um two weeks of lectures before posting so you're going to do back-to-back -back lectures from morning to night for two weeks 
then after that you're going to go to the hospital to continue with your clinical rotation where you basically shadow doctors and learn things hands on then after the uh, postings you're going to write your end of posting test and then mock and um for the fourth mbbs or the fifth mbbs rather you're going to have to read a lot because you're going to read things that you did in fourth year fifth year and final year because you started medicine and surgery in fourth year then come med you started in fifth year so you have a lot of reading to do you're going to read and read and read reading is going to choke so um you write your mock and then write your final mbbs after that voila you're a doctor sounds this right yep and yeah i forgot to mention um for come med posting in final year you're going to have to do a rural posting so you go to a rural setting um you're going to go to a village live in a village with village people for two weeks so you're going to be doing things like um giving health talks um you visit the ibs palace as well go to go and do market survey and do data collection in the village whatever village you go to to find out the kind of uh, illnesses that plague them <laughs> or the kind of illnesses they suffer from mostly and then um give health talks regarding those illnesses so it's quite an interesting posting to do i actually have a vlog on it on my own rural posting i'll attach the link down below so yeah medical school in nigeria is a bit complicated as you can see they don't um run the normal school program or share the witches and semesters and most of the things i mentioned in this video like i said earlier is what's obtainable in my school so if things are done differently in your school or if i left anything out in this video please let me know in the comment section down below and if you've not subscribed to my channel yet i don't know what you're still doing but please tap that subscribe button right now and click the notification bell and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video